I'm Reverend Carolyn Wilkins. I'm the incoming chair of the annual Martin Luther King celebration. Our celebration today was a Youth Leadership Academy. The vision for today was that we have a time to work with our youth to share not only the principles that Martin Luther King lived by, but his position as a leader, what made him a leader, and how those characters and qualities are transferable to our youth today. My name is Marcus George. I'm in seventh grade and I'm 12 years old. What I know most about Martin Luther King is that he empowered a lot of people and it brought a lot of people together. Today really helped me realize how to deal with different situations, how to use nonviolence, and how to deal with stress. I appreciate Martin Luther King for bringing a lot of communities together. My name is Haley and I'm 14 years old. Today has been pretty well so far. We started off with some simple yoga, which was really relaxing. Then we did some fun games like cat and mouse. <laughs> Remember, you can only tie from the back. Good. Oh. Good. It's really good to meet new people so that you can be more extroverted and that leadership is a really good skill to possess and that in any circumstance, leadership will help you through anything. I was just so incredibly moved by these kids. Anyone has the ability to be great. Give them tools and techniques that will allow them to nurture that, that commitment that they have inside of themselves. Not allow the stresses of life to wear them down because we all need is to feel that connection with each other because when that connection is there, there's no way you can intentionally want to cause harm in any way to someone else. Today I've realized that it's okay to step out of my comfort zone and try new things. How you could treat people better, um, leadership skills and teamwork building. Teamwork is very, very important. You just ignore it and think we can face the world by ourselves, that we don't need nobody. But in actuality, we need somebody. All of us are leaders and all of us have the qualities of leader. The kids themselves make the experience unique for each time we teach it. And the camaraderie that happens, the new friendships that are developed, whatever drove Martin Luther King to do the things he did, that's inside them too. I know that I can live every day without have any racist feelings towards anyone so that we can treat everyone equally so that we can have peace. We also talked about some of the areas of stress and challenges that they may be going through right now, comparing it to some of the challenges in the world when Martin Luther King was alive. And the intent of today was to really help young people understand that there will be challenges in the world, challenges in their home, challenges in their life, but they can stand up to all of those things by understanding that within they have the capability of overcoming and being a viable contributor to the world. We shared some qualities of King's leadership, which include his speech and message, his perseverance, the impact he made in the world, and his commitment. And they also had a chance to talk about their own areas of stress in school, at home, things that are happening in the world, homelessness, the immigration issues, and talking about how they can take what they know about what's going on in the world and find something that they want to do to make a difference. I'm inspired by them, and I hope they were inspired by the work that was done. Our team consists of Deidre Jackson and Dr. Jeff Nipper, who are teachers from the YES program, and they touch the lives of thousands of youth on a daily basis. We had a couple of exercises today, and one included a process called sculptures. What you do is you come up with a pose and you're with a team of three, four, or five other people. And the next person comes and stands next to you in their pose. And then the third piles on and the fourth. 
People may be a little reluctant to get started, but what happens is they just get into the energy, the excitement. Some have their legs out, their feet out, their heads turned, and you have to determine, what do I want my look to be? How do I participate so that I'm connected to them? It's a lot of fun, it's very creative, and it's a wonderful expression of teamwork as well as leadership. This program is focused on youth leadership, but it's also under the manifestation of the work that Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King has done. And we stand on his shoulders, a man of vision, left a legacy of movement, of civil rights action, of changes in law. He also left the message of how to be a leader, how to include people from different environments. And the young people who came today got a glimpse of how his dream is available to them right now. Martin Luther King inspires me because in light of the world in which he was living, where there was segregation, there was brutality, there was a lack of jobs, a lack of opportunity, a lack of education. He stood on the position of nonviolence. If I could describe Martin Luther King in three words, it would be leader, legacy, vision. So I'm very grateful for Culver City, for the Commission, Parks and Recreation Commission, for supporting this program. My name is Megan Sally Wells, and I am the Vice Mayor of Culver City. Martin Luther King inspires me for his courage, being able to speak truth to power, bringing people together, and I feel like youth are the answer, vision, courage, and justice. I'm inspired by Martin Luther King because he moved a generation of people because he was tired of being seen as just black or, you know, a Negro. So he was trying to bring, you know, white people, black people, Asian people, doesn't matter. He was trying to bring them all together. He was talking about how when he was growing up, how he was playing with the little kids. You know, you can't play with Martin Luther King because he's black. And you know, they were just playing and having fun. Like they didn't think about each other's race or you know, what, what side of the, of the country or what side of the, the city they were from. It just shows you how the parents could have been influenced by their parents and how their parents could have been influenced by their parents. What I like about Martin Luther King was that he was breaking that generational mentality. Despite what other people were thinking, he had a dream, he had a goal. And just going for your goals and shooting for your dreams, even if it seems impossible. Martin Luther King inspires me because even when everyone was trying to bring him down, he still reacted with kindness, even at a time where they weren't necessarily understanding him. He was still willing to compromise with them in a way. I really like Martin Luther King um, and the fact that he helped people of different ethnicities come together. My dad's like half Chinese and I probably wouldn't exist if Martin Luther King didn't do anything because my parents probably wouldn't have met or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. Our generation has become so cruel. Like if he was here, he'd talk about that. He'd talk about like borders and immigrants and that not being okay. No race is superior than the other. He created that equality and brought the light to show us that we are all the same. I hope for more people like Martin Luther King in like the future. Martin Luther King's uh, movement makes me feel like that whatever the odds, I can do something if I really set my mind to it. If he can face all those difficulties and challenges, then I think that I can too. I can conquer anything if I put my mind to it. I'm inspired by Martin Luther King because people wanted him to be silenced and 
Instead of giving in to like what they wanted, he instead persevered and he did things to help benefit his community. He had every excuse in the world to quit. Martin Luther King taught me to stand up for what I believed in. Just like him, I believe that we all should be treated equally. Martin Luther King was an inspirational person who started a movement to make people equal no matter the race. He inspires me because like, even though he went to jail, he still kept moving forward to reach his goal. I'm inspired by Martin Luther King because of his leadership. I would describe him as peaceful, inspiring, and courageous. People, aka the democracy, us, we dictate, you know, the future of this country. Not voting or at least, you know, um, putting our voices out there or challenging the system. For our future generations, we just, you know, let it happen because we think there's no hope. The truth is, it can change. He challenged the system when nobody else did. And if he didn't do that, you know, we wouldn't have the privileges we have today. We, the people, we make the system what it is. And it's up to us to change it.